26, 2020. The corn is up, as we can see. We're here in Wabasso, Minnesota, checking emergence. We weren't even planting this time last year. That's right, we had nothing in the ground. That's right. So, as you look at this plot, what are some things that stick out to you? So I guess the first thing is, you know, we kind of jump in and, and uh, before I even lay my tape measure down, just a quick assessment of stand. Right, so we stopped here. We've got some varying depths on emergence. We've got some varying difference in plant sizes um, due to, Alex, you were telling me a little bit about why, right? Why the conditions were like that when we came to the plant. Absolutely, so we've got some shallow planted seed. And one of the primary reasons for that, even though we had great field conditions, is we had lumpy soil, right? Those gauge wheels were riding on top of that, those lumps, and causing us to just have, you know, not get the depth we were looking for. So as I've been out looking at this plot, we've got, you know, some decent planting depth, some inch and three quarter, two, two and a quarter. We've also got some half inch and three quarter inch stuff that came up real early, right? A little earlier than the GDU suggested they should. Um, so we're seeing a little bit of uneven emergence. And I don't think that that's much different than what we've seen out in the field. I think we'll see a lot of that this year. You bring up a great point on, uh, you know, some guys talk, hey, my corn's up on 100 GDUs. That's awesome. Well, that probably throws up a flag, right? It should be a, probably at least 120 to maybe even a few more on our heavy black, high organic matter soils, right? We planted in pretty cool conditions, pretty cool soils. So I don't expect our corn to be up in 120 GDUs. Absolutely. And so, what are we at kind of for GDUs right now, Reed, as you've looked across the area? Yeah, we're right in that one. 17 115 right in there things are just um, poking up just planted, poking right? through so yep that's that's expected right so we're just seeing it not quite time to really do a firm assessment but we'll dive in here and just talk about some of the things we'll look at as we're assessing stands reed so now we've run the tape measure here so first thing alex throw the tape out 17 feet 5 inches a thousandth of an acre and 30 inch rows and we can assess that kind of stand so i guess i'm looking for uniform consistency and something jumped out at us right away here is we noticed a few plants nipped off the soil surface so if you come in here close you can see on this plant here i think we we haven't found any but i think we potentially had some cutworm feeding out here on a few plants um, right you dug up another one right next yeah, to it dug up another one next hand. to it that i'm holding here um you can see nipped off right there at the soil surface so usually um like i say we didn't document exactly for sure but kind of suspect cutworms so um back to if you think there's a seed there you usually want to dig and understand why what happened so um if you want to zoom in here alex we'll we'll measure the mesocotyl so kind of that first lobe down um, to the seed and add three quarters of an inch tells us how deep um, we're planted so we're about we're just over two inches on this one so mesocotyl is about an inch and a half so we're about two and a quarter planting depth alex and you talked about some concerns on the planting depth so this was a deep planted seed up here we've got seeds that were planted probably closer to three quarters of an inch deep so we've got varying degrees of uh concerns here you can see this this seed right here just starting to emerge just starting to emerge with about three quarters of an inch of growth on him so lots of variability um to me the most important thing we're trying to do right now is consistency of plants i want every single plant out of the ground at the exact same time um, we're not going to be able to achieve that here obviously so we've got a plant alex that's got one fully a leaf uh, emerged leaf and we've got a plant that isn't going to come up you know that's going to be well over 10 percent hit to that plant um right reed so overall. it's planted shallow but hey why isn't it come? I mean, it's, it's just struggling to come up, and that's struggling probably because it's dry dirt, right? Dry dirt, right? So that you bring up a good point earlier. You know, it's it didn't jump out of the ground because it didn't have good moisture. And guys ask, why do I plant two inches deep? The moisture is usually more consistent. Um, I get called out, and we go on. Uh, I remember Jim Boers always saying, I've been on a lot more calls for shallow planted corn than I have deep planted corn. Running into more issues with variability of uh, of moisture, like we're seeing here. The other thing is, we just it's you bring that plant up and you don't allow it to set its brace roots the way it should right so throughout the year the struggle for nutrients not only inconsistencies of the plant it's just it's a huge strike against it um, so we want all these plants consistently we've got about what do we say about 30,000 plants right now that are roughly the same size but we've got a um, you know there's a lot of plants out here they're going to be a see a five to ten percent yield hit individually overall so um, not ideal like we could see. I think we could have done a better job probably running row cleaners a little more aggressive to throw some lumps out of the way. Um, we'll dive in here and look a little bit more once you cut there. All right, guys, just a quick assessment here. I hope uh, you can get out in the field and evaluate some stands. Like Alex said, we're a month ahead of where we were over a month ahead of month last year. So, are six weeks right now. That's awesome. So um, get out, evaluate some stands, inspect what you expect. with us always have that tape.
tape measure, right? Reads through the trowel. I've got myself a nice, like, like a mud, uh, like a drywall scraper. Uh, I really like this for kind of peeling away at that trench real easily and measuring, planting that. Uh, Reinforce the pads themselves. Unless you got these pockets. I got well, every good agronomist always has a pocket. Absolutely. And I got myself an infrared gun for checking soil temperatures. Absolutely. All right, guys, have fun out in the field. We'd love to see you out evaluating stands. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.